Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a big Notion fan. I'm also a big Morgan fan, Morgan Calendar. And if you don't try this Morgan and Notion workflow, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with you, but maybe you're missing out. And I don't want you to miss out on anything because here at Rise Productive, we want you to rise productive. <laughs> I can't, why do you watch me? So all you're gonna need for this workflow is two things. You're gonna need a task database in Notion. You're gonna need a Morgan account and you're gonna need a free Zapier account. That is three things. That is. Automations are my strong suit, counting, not so much. So step one in this process, I'm gonna take my example task management right here. So what we have is just a database called TasksDB <laughs> is the dumbest name ever. This is hilarious. It's a TasksDB <laughs> Dimitri, what a name. And I have the Morgan app on my phone and you'll see right here, there's a really nice create event or task widget. So with that, I'm then gonna log into my Zapier account on my computer and I'm gonna make some magic happen here. So if I go to create Zap, Morgan actually has an API connection using Zapier. So I'm going to do when task is created, this is when the trigger for the Zap starts. So what that means is anytime you're using an automation, you're going to need a trigger in order for an action to take place. So for now, I'm just gonna skip this test and it gives us some example items here. So the summary is the name, the status is needs action, which means it's gonna be unchecked and then the date is gonna be the example date here. So what I'm then gonna do is go to Notion and I'm going to create a database item and then I'm going to pick that wonderfully named database. So right here, you'll see, there'll be a list of different items that you're able to choose from in order to connect your account. It's gonna be the usual connect your account uh, and select pages sort of thing within Zapier. So I've already selected this database before, so it'll be pretty simple. So then now we just have to find the name of the database, TaskDB Dimitri, and then all the different properties will show up here. So what I'm gonna select is the name. I'm gonna grab the title right here. And then there's gonna be a couple other items. There's gonna be due date, plan date. And in order for us to get more of an idea of what those properties mean, let's do an actual test here. So I'm gonna go into my phone and do a create event or task. And now obviously this can be done on the computer as well. So take out the trash and it's gonna be a task. I'm gonna Press on the top left over here, and it's gonna be 9 a.m. start time, 10 a.m. end time, press save here. So then we'll see this on my calendar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to this test here and then do test trigger again. And the name now will be take out the trash. We'll see what all these other dates and times mean. So include time with date fields is up to you. I'm gonna do true for wanting to have a time of day for it. And then we're gonna have the ability to see now what these different things mean. So you'll see that the due date and plan date seem to be empty here. So we can actually set this to be more of an inbox style thing. So if I just don't set a date or a time, then I can use this as a quick capture inbox on the go, which would be much easier than the Notion version because we all know how slow the Notion app is on our phone. And then we can pick assign to, and I'm gonna pick me, and then continue. And then we're going to go here and test this action. Now, when we test this action, you'll notice that there's going to be a URL that pops up if you scroll down here, it's going to be called URL at the very bottom. You can also go to this search right here and do URL, and then it should be at the bottom as well. So I'm gonna copy this and then paste it into my browser. And what we'll see is that it is here, it was captured within here, and this is the test run for it. So where do I go to make sure that that's actually what I wanted? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my inbox page here, and you'll see in this inbox, this is filtered to the time is empty, no projects, it's been created recently, and it was created by me or an automation. So you'll see that this popped up in my task inbox. So let's do this final step to make this quick capture possible. So let's do Morgan to Notion, quick capture as the name. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top right here and press publish and turn on. Now, once this finished loading, let's do a quick test. For those of us that are on a professional plan, it'll load pretty quickly. For those of us that are on a free plan, it will not load as quickly. If we go to the Zapier pricing, we'll see that the update time is 15 minutes for free and starter. I'm on professional, so it's two minutes, so it's very quick. Uh, I would recommend that you go with whatever makes sense for your pricing. If you're in a business, use professional, it's amazing, if you're using it enough. So then let's go back to my phone, and we have two options. We can either go into the Morgan app and then do a quick capture, or we can use the widget, and then just do record this video, and then we're gonna press save, 
And since this zap, Morgan to Notion Quick Capture, is running, we'll see that this record this video populated in my inbox. Simple, easy, effective Morgan. Just as effective as this video is going to be on helping you improve your productivity even more.